In the Expanded Early Start program, we will be using OpenGrader to grade open forum case studies and assignments. System mentors will only see the posts and assignments for participants in their own systems. During this session, we will be learning to navigate OpenGrader, locating and using rubrics to grade assignments, and understanding how to provide feedback and ask for supplemental information if the question was not completely answered. To begin, access OpenGrader by clicking on the course dashboard. Then, click on the Open Grader button. The Open Grader control panel is at the top of your screen. There are four main controls. Buttons that take you back to the course, shift between full screen mode and regular mode, and an all important button that shows you only activities that require grading. You will, you will use this button a lot. A drop down menu in number two shows you the various assignments and discussion forums. A drop-down menu in number three allows you to select a group if you're in more than one group. And the drop-down menu number four allows you to select an individual student for review. Let's see how these work in real time. Click on the course dashboard from the contents panel on the left, then click on Open Grader. This will bring up the Open Grader app. You will see the control panel that we were just reviewing. And here are the drop down menus to select your group, assignment, and student. Select an assignment by clicking on it from the drop down menu. You can then see your students' work, including any replies on the main screen. You can also select a particular student for review. If you click on the Show Activities Requiring Grading button, it will only show you those activities that you have not yet graded. As you can see, Joan Annett has submitted a post. You can grade by either case study or grade by student, whichever you prefer. When you are ready to grade, click on Grade with Rubric. This will bring up a description of what the lesson was about and the types of things we're looking for in the post. As you scroll down to the rubric, you can see we are grading on three things. Is the post relevant to the question? Does it contribute positively to the, to the discussion? And is it accurate and authoritative? Participants should give you an idea of where they found their information. Click on the boxes to award points. Students must be awarded all the points to complete the assignment. You can ask for more information or for them to repost if they are off track. We will discuss how to do that in a minute. Finally, you can post your overall feedback for the student. Be sure that, to tell them what you liked about the post. You can also share real life experiences or resources that you might find helpful. Be sure to save your grade or click on the Save Grade and Next button to take you to the next student's post. So, what if the answer is good but doesn't exactly match the rubric? The rubric is a guideline to help you. Use your professional judgment and experience. If you were observing this student in real life, would you step in and suggest to the student they take a different path with the patron? If not, you can probably just su suggest some enhancements in their final feedback. But if the answer isn't quite right, don't complete the rubric. You can request more information using activity comments. Participants can then edit or reply to their post with additional information. Forgetting part of the question or not citing sources are two of the most common reasons why you might ask for additional information. If the student is completely off track, 
be sure to tell them that you would like them to try again and point them in the right direction. Be clear that you cannot finish their grade without more information or a repost. In summary, use activity comment to ask for additional information or correct misconceptions and ask for a repost. Use the final comment to reinforce what you liked about their answer or expand upon it with real-world experiences. Once you re you've received an appropriate response, you can then complete the rubric. Blackboard will assume the assignment is complete if the student receives a grade from you and has posted a reply. Blackboard is looking for a posted reply, not the, re the quality of the response. You can have a higher standard if you wish. The best learning on a discussion board occurs when there's an active conversation going on. In a perfect world, all replies to posts would be substantive. However, any indication of learning is acceptable. So, if you see, wow, I didn't know that as a reply, it's not substantive, but it is an indication of learning. You can send an activity comment but go ahead and complete the rubric. Or you can send a private message to the student and ask them to be more substantive in their replies in general. Library associates across the state will be participating in the Expanded Early Start program, so there should always be some students going through the process. When you are grading, you will see the students post and any replies that they've made to others. If there's no reply, the participant may have forgotten, or may just have not gotten around to it yet, or they may be the first person to actually post. Here are some tips if that's the case. Have your students enroll in post notifications so they will know when someone is posted. Then they can go ahead and reply to that post once they're notified. Also, you could create your own post that they can respond to. They won't be able to see your post until they have posted their own. In addition, the LATI coordinator will be posting if there are only a few students um, in any cohort. Another question is, how often should I grade? Well, you can set up Blackboard to notify you of new postings. If you're using a normal timeline for Early Start program, which is basically a module every other week, try to grade at least twice a week. If you are compressing the expanded Early Start program into a shorter period, you may need to grade more frequently. But the best practice is to let your participants know when you will be grading so they know what to expect and won't be asking why Blackboard hasn't indicated that they've completed an assignment or posting when you simply haven't graded it yet. If you have a problem, please let Linda Zuckerman know immediately. You can message me through Blackboard or you can email me at lindadickzuckerman at outlook.com. Also, if Blackboard is doing something that, that is unexpected, let me know as well. We hope this has been useful to you and has reduced some of the anxiety around grading your participants in the Early Start program. Thank you.